Hello! Now, if you're interested in retro masks and ones I can't really test or are bound not to work by age, here I have a Sieb Gorman Vista Vision, or something very similar to a Sieb Gorman Vista Vision. It's definitely a Sieb Gorman, as you can see. Um, but lots of Vista Visions actually have Vista Vision printed on the rubber up here. I can see no such thing on this particular one. However, the front looks exactly like a Vista Vision to me, um, and it's got the sort of pipe here which I guess you could either attach to some sort of oxygen thing or a filter. Lots of these are attached to filters. So what's a Vista Vision then, for those of you that don't know? This is a really early panoramic gas mask, and as you can probably see, probably gives you a much better field of view than lots of the later panoramic masks. So Vista Visions came about somewhere after World War II, I'm not sure if it's the 1950s or 60s. But it was made by the British company Sieb Gorman, which I've talked about before, it's one of those companies, it's a real shame they don't exist anymore, because they used to make some really cool stuff, including deep sea diving suits. Um, but this was the Vista Vision, basically, and it was designed to be um, an industrial mask that was, you know, like you could have a really good field of view. I think they made versions for firefighters as well. If you're interested in, like, one of the last Sieb Gorman masks ever made, I've got a video, or a couple of videos, on the Sieb Gorman weird mask I bought that the MOD sold off recently which is kind of like the air one, but they then made it take 40mm connection, so that's very odd, but this is basically what the Vista Vision is. So, um, my face might get really dirty doing this, I gave the mask a quick wipe out on the inside, but obviously this has been in somebody's attic for quite a long time. Uh, the strap's not done up or anything, but we'll put it on so you can see the field of view. So, I don't think there's a voice diaphragm there, I think it's literally an exhale valve if that even works. It works but not very well. But yeah, the Vista Vision obviously would give you a really good field of view, as you can see. Sort of it's one of your classic old sci-fi looking masks. Could easily use something like this as a prop in some sort of science fiction film. So yeah, that's the Vista Vision. I said I can't really test it because I think there's probably lots of leaks in this hose. Uh, I can see where the, that's sort of all corroding there. What I might do if I really wanted to test it is maybe, and again it's an old mask, so I don't really want to do stuff like this, is cut the hose off there and then see if I could somehow rig it up to take a filter. But basically, as far as I'm aware, you'd have your exhale valve under that cover, you'd have obviously your air intake there. The weird thing is this mask seems to have some sort of combined inhale and exhale valve where you might be able to see that there, especially if I got the straps out of the way, that would help, wouldn't it? Um, I think by the look of it, the air comes in the same hole and you exhale out the same hole, except for one goes to the pipe and one goes to there, so whether or not there's a flap in there or something, I don't know, but... Yeah, an interesting mask. And the other interesting thing is, feeling it, this definitely doesn't feel like glass, it feels like plastic, so... If this was a 1950s or 60s Vista Vision, that would be very impressive if they'd actually, you know, got essentially modernish plastic there, like acrylic or something. Because so I assume that must be what it would be, acrylic. Because, like for example, with the Vostok Amphibia I've got on, the Soviets started making these in the 1960s, I believe. And that was, um, like, Soviet um, backwards engineered acrylic. So yeah, I assume acrylic must have been around, so I guess that's all this is, acrylic. But, um, yeah, Vista Vision is kind of fascinating. Um, like I said, if it really comes to it, I might try and rig this up so I can get it working but for the most part I'll probably just keep it as an antique but yeah Vista Visions if you don't know about them and Sieb Gorman they're kind of fascinating early industrial masks there was a version of this that took 60mm filters because I've seen photos of that it like it looks like this but then coming off of this it's got a 60mm filter port that sticks out you know a few inches from the mask so that would be kind of fascinating because I assume that might have been a prototype for military use because Britain at that point was using 60mm filters with the uh, light anti-gas respirators. So, you know, maybe they did intend one for military use and it never saw it or some military use. I can imagine this would be quite a lot weaker as a mask having a big acrylic face and actually having, you know, two smaller lenses. But, yeah. This is a panoramic mask done right. Obviously, it doesn't have an oral nasal cup in it, which is probably one of the reasons why it fogs up so quickly. Um, again, maybe some versions of this mask did have oral nasal cups, but not this one. But yeah, if you're interested in kind of sci-fi looking masks from back, uh, from a while ago, Sieb Gorman Vista Vision is definitely one of them. As said, I can't really test it because I'd need to find some way of repairing the hose or rigging a filter directly to the mask. But... 
if you're interested in kind of just classic and weird and cool looking masks, the Vista Vision is definitely one of those. It's got that very much, I think, 1950s, 60s sci-fi look to it. You have all the UFO type things and stuff like that. So yeah. Steve Gorman Vista Vision. Not much to say about it, but very cool mask. I was just going to see if I could see a date stamp on it. There's something very faded here that might be 60 something. Um, but again, you can't really make that out even staring it up close. I can't see any other marks on it. Other than the Seab Gorman Chessington Surrey thing at the top. But yeah. The straps on this one look like an old World War II British mask. Harness straps. Um, it's that same sort of thing you'd see on the British masks of the period. Um, hopefully that's wool of some sort and not asbestos. <laughs> um, I'll cut that off in a minute. Anyway. But yeah, the Vista Vision's kind of fascinating, as said, not to keep babbling on about it, but um, yeah, one of the classic sort of early panoramic lens masks that actually seems to give you a much better field of view than the modern ones do.